The smiling critters, what happened to them? We know none survived, but what fates did they meet? In this video, we go through every member of the cast, seeing what could have led to their deaths, with our first member being Bubba Bubba Fent. During the opening phase of the game, we run into a Bubba Bubba Fent cutout. Bubba had a few traits like its sensational memory and also it was by far the smartest member of the group. I'm Bubba Bubba Fent. Hey, I remember you. An elephant always remembers. This is backed up by Bubba saying it remembers us. This raises a few questions. Is this merely because of its character being able to remember very well? Mimicking actual elephants in real life, with elephants having really good memories. Or is Baba implying it remembers us, specifically because we used to work in the building? An elephant always remembers. Want to know what I remember about you? <laughs> As Bubba was about to explain what it remembers about us, its audio cuts, and we hear it start to scream. Bubba has the least amount of dialogue out of the cast. This could be due to it being the first to ask Catnap to go to sleep in the opening VHS tape. Eventually, Catnap would release red gas, which would make all the smiling critters begin to laugh maniacally. Bubba's laughter most likely is linked to this original incident, which would have allowed Catnap to easily dispose of Bubba Bubba Fent. Kickin' Chicken is the cool member of the group, its personality being sporadic and full of energy. However, a false sense of pride could be present during the audio from Kickin' Chicken's cutout. Hey, I'm Kickin' Chicken! Wanna go outside and hang out? It's looking pretty bad outside. I've never been outside before. Kicken says, let's go outside and hang out. However, remembers that it actually has never been outside the facility before. It says for us to come with it, as in the Poppy Playtime facility, if anything attempts to leave it, they may come into contact with Huggy Wuggy, the security measure, or the prototype. Chicken Chicken then says, Will you come with me? I'm scared. Here, follow me. I'll step out first. We can say Chicken wanted out on this life. It didn't want to remain in the facility, however, by attempting to leave it, was caught. It would make sense that it was the prototype which found Chicken. As we know from what Poppy told us about leaving the facility, it's very dangerous to actually attempt to leave once you are in the building. From what Poppy says, the prototype kills whoever attempts to leave the facility, which we can say Kickin' Chicken met the prototype, therefore went through a very unfortunate fate. Hoppy Hopscotch is the loudest member of the group. It is also very impatient. Oftentimes being frustrated when things don't plan out the way it thought it should have. Hoppy may have also been the most active of the group, as during the opening VHS tape we see Hoppy playing soccer on a rainbow. With Hoppy's cutouts we hear I'm Hoppy Hopscotch! Wanna try hopping to the moon with me? All three with me! One, two, three! Didn't get very far, did we? Again! One, two, three! Nope. Hoppy somehow is deluded, thinking if it keeps jumping, eventually it will reach the moon. But as Hoppy tries and tries, it doesn't succeed, and Hoppy becomes fed up and says this won't stop until we reach the moon. Listen, this won't stop until we make it to the moon! One, two, oh no, no, don't look at your feet, none of that matters, again, again. Hoppy's impatience gets the better of it, and in saying don't look at your feet, we can kind of imply what fate lies next. Hoppy wants us to jump again, and in doing so we hear its scream jump, 
with the audio cutting out midway through the word. Joke! Joke! It's likely Hoppy, by not looking at its feet, jumped and fell into a pit. With us knowing how deep this facility is, we can only imagine where Hoppy may have jumped into. Bobby Bearhug was very loving to its friends. However, this may have led to its very demise. During the Bobby cutout, we hear of its insatiable love it has. Wanna know how much I love you? I love you to the moon and back. I'm crazy about you. However, Bobby realizes that it needs us, so the loving tone becomes more and more fearful, with soon Bobby completely begging for us to stay with it. I'm lost without you. I've been lost a long time. Please, take me with you this time. This may be due to Bobby not fully understanding the true value of what it means to care about someone purely doing so to fill a deep void inside of it. So in time, Bobby was abandoned by all its friends, and now begging for us to be with it. With the line, please take me with you this time, it's quite possible Bobby knows of us coming back to the facility, potentially wanting us to leave with it. The exact fate of Bobby is unknown, but it's highly likely it starved to death as most would have succumbed to this fate after the hour of joy. This one is by far the most disturbing fate of the bunch. Dog Day was the most sane of the smiling critters. Even after all the tragic incidents, Dog Day remained true and loyal to being a kind being. With Dog Day saying, Dog Day says, Fetch! Go, go, as far as you can! With its saying go fetch, it perhaps is trying to tell us we should go and fetch freedom, which we know Dog Day was telling everyone to leave the playtime facility, trying to save as many people or monsters as it could from the horrifying grip of the prototype. However, eventually Dog Day was caught, and with something standing in front of it, most likely catnap, the punishment Dog Day would receive is unimaginable. Why are you just standing there? You can't be here. You can't stay. You can hear the torment catnap put Dog Day through. With during the screaming, you can actually hear Dog Day's legs being ripped off. Catnap would ensure Dog Day's punishment would be an example of what can happen to heretics, which sent fear throughout the play care and is why many who resided in it stayed due to the fear of Catnap's disembodiment of Dog Day. Crafty Corn was very peaceful and never sought violence to its friends. We know Crafty loved painting as this was its true passion. Often the other smiling critters would help it paint and this is evident in the VHS tape. We see Bubba and Crafty using the same canvas. They potentially could have shared it as well. In Crafty's cutout we hear Hi, I'm Crafty Corn. Can you help me with my painting? Pass me the blue, please. Thanks. Now, can you give me some red? Upon running out of red, Crafty starts to become agitated. However, it senses more red is nearby, stating we are hiding more red from it. The part that is disturbing is Crafty is referring to our blood. Out? But we can't be out. You're hiding more red from me. I know you are. Give it here! Oh, now that's much better. Crafty yells, give it here. And screaming can be heard after this. After which Crafty says, now that's much better. What happened is Crafty may have been painting with another member of the cast. And upon running out of red, attacked whoever happened to have been helping it. The demise of Crafty isn't explicitly showed in the cutout. 
Perhaps after attacking a friend, the other smiling critters may have turned on Crafty. Or Crafty may have starved during the aftermath of the hour of joy. Picky Piggy was by all accounts the most hungriest of the group. It would eat endlessly and even at times fixated on eating its friends. But as it explains which type of food it enjoys, we hear the other critters being described. Hi there, I'm Piggy Piggy. Let's eat. Grilled beef? Delicious. Grilled chicken? Down the hatch. Seared elephant? Yum! Blade unicorn? Mmm! Still hungry. Even after all this time, it's still hungry and suggests that we should befriend it, with it remarking, Hey, what do you say you and I be friends? We know what Picky Piggy does to its friends, so we know that we too are in danger. Piggy is shown to love food, so could this fascination actually be a reason for it surviving the hour of joy? But how can this be? All the smiling critters were told to be dead. As Dog Day explains to us, it is the last one standing. But perhaps Piggy is still alive, feeding on whatever it can down somewhere in the depths of the factory, waiting for us. So that's about it for this video. If you've ever wondered what happened to Mr. Light during the events of chapter 3 and before that, well on screen here is a video you should check out. But until next time, take it easy and goodbye.